Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel for the Daily Oracle Inspirational... No, that's not it. Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel for the Daily Inspirational Oracle Reading provided to you darlings by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I like for you to take a moment and think about anything that is troubling you, any concerns or issues you have, or maybe you are looking for a sign from the universe, you're looking for insight or just a different perspective, another way to look at what is bothering you. You may also take a moment to let your mind just settle into your heart and let your subconscious surface any issues or concerns you have and let it resonate with this reading. Now, at the end of this energy check-in reading, I am going to give you an opportunity to ask the mystic beings any yes or no question that you have. And you can select either one, two, or three, and they'll give you their answer, but always listen to your own to intuition, darling. So the first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's answer to you, I mean, um, message to you is know that you are beautiful just the way you are. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is do it now. And the last card I have for you for this energy check-in today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is, true love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties. So, I gotta tell you about this hand. So, Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara represents our root chakra, which has to do with our money, our prosperity, our mission, our purpose, our relationship with our ancestors, but it also has to do with belonging and where we belong and um, where, do, where, do we, where do we fit into the world, our place in the world, our, what we're supposed to be doing. So in this, how do I say, I'm just going to say it straight because sometimes I'm always thinking like, don't, you know, don't say any bad words, don't make you you know just keep it clean so basically as we progress as human beings we're gonna always lose you know we're gonna lose friends we're gonna lose people in our life because as you grow you you know you, you develop new interests and um, sometimes it's not you but it's the people around you they see you in a different light and they don't really want to spend time with you but with this video what this message is that I'm getting is that sometimes when we are trying to grow in life we we don't want to leave the people behind that we love we don't want to we want to you know we want to we want to be able to still have long deep conversations with our girlfriends about the guys who did us wrong right let's just say you get a new job and you're making 10 times as much money as you ever made in your life but all of your friends are still struggling they're still their lights are being turned off their phones are being turned off and you can no longer contribute to that narrative right you're no longer a part of that conversation but what i have found over the years as a as a therapist, you know, I, I did therapy for years, so I hated it. But um, what I have found is that a lot of times when people move out of situations and they don't have new friends yet, they create narrative scenarios in their mind so that they can, you know, have something to talk about with their friends. I know. So it's, it can work in a positive way and it can work in a negative way. Let's say somebody lose weight and you feel inspired and, and you decide, okay, I'm going to lose weight too. Or let's just say, but you know, that's the positive side. But what I, what I have found is that a lot of times when people are growing and 
their old friends, the people that they were so close to, and they would have these deep, rich, meaningful, juicy conversations, darling, about life and what it means. When you are no longer in that same situation, you can't have those conversations with them. And you don't know where you fit anymore. And a part of you feel bad about it. You feel bad that you can't, you know, have this conversation about where where are the good men when you just got married to the love of your life. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be conscientious that every time you move up in life, we all... You lose a little bit of ourselves, you know. Bits and pieces of ourself is left behind. Yes, darling. You know, we while we're looking for, while we're searching to better ourselves, we, you know, we lose we lose a part. We lo- we lose a part of who we used to be, and we miss that person, and we can't we can no longer relate to you know like our old friends who maybe they don't talk about stocks and bonds or maybe they don't have a new house yet and you just bought your new house and you're going over all of the different types of um you know wood or you know picking out the different carpet or and they're just talking about barely making rent you understand what i'm saying and i think the reason that a lot of people hold themselves back in life is because their soul their spirit knows that's going to happen. So you try to hold yourself back because you know that your friends aren't going to be, over time, they're not going to pick up your, you know, answer your phone calls. They're not going to answer your text messages because they can't relate to you. Some of it would be jealousy, but some of it would just be, you know, they'll think, feel like you don't understand anymore. So the car from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Cyanide, it says do it now. Now she represents our second chakra. And our second chakra, darling, is responsible for um, our ability to create, but it's also responsible for our feelings. Like I feel and I feel lonely or I feel happy or I feel sad. But, you know, um, it's two inches below your navel. And this is the chakra that's responsible for our um, relationships with other people. And, like in terms of whether it's codependency, whether we're able to move on when something is, when something, a codependent relationship is not necessarily a love relationship. It's a relationship that's built around having the same creative interests or the same, you know, like it's a dependency on what you are feeling at the moment. We're flowing in the same direction because um, the second chakra is also a part of the water element. So if you're flowing in the same direction and you're at the same speed and then everything is great. But if you start to move faster or you're taking a a current in another direction, then things fall apart. Jenna Beauty got a cyanized message to you is that she wants you to honor yourself now, to do it now and to accept that some of your relationships some of you yeah, some of your relationships are not going to be healthy for you you have the car for jungle beauty goddess kalahari um true love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties sometimes what people don't understand is that when we talk about the highest good for all parties they always most people exclude themselves and we you know we, we try to keep those relationships together we try to work on those friendships we try to step back in time. We, we want, you know, because we think about, oh, we used to listen to, you know, um, Ashanti or whatever. You know, we listened to our music and we were so close back then. Yeah, but now that you're growing and you're progressing and things are changing for you, you're not that person anymore. And you have to know that you are beautiful just the way you are. And we're not just talking. I'm not talking about physical beauty. I'm talking about your intellectual beauty, darling. Your spiritual beauty. You have, you know, your 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 beauty of just the growth and the expansion that you have experienced over the years. And you're going to have to stop holding yourself back so you can fit in to the past, to your old friends. And you're going to have to, you know, just figure out where you 
And you're gonna miss that. And you know, and I'm just gonna be, you know, really honest with you. Um, when you are growing as a human being, you know, I'm gonna tell you from my from my personal experience. I, as you guys know, that I am in my, you know, fifty dollars knocking on my 60 on 60 um the ex friendships that you experience in your 20s and 30s they're magical i'm telling you because when you're developing your life when you are finding your life partners when you're at work and you're talking about your dreams and you're talking about oh i can't you know i gotta finish this exam i mean when you're building the foundation of your life you would those are you would never experience for I don't know if you experienced friendship like that later in life. Maybe other people have comment in the box below and tell me what your experience is. But that richness, that juiciness, that level of vulner vulnerability, it usually, I think for me personally, it started to fade, like I would say when I started hitting my 40s. It's like you still have a couple friends, but it changes and you know, um, you're growing into yourself and you you know before you were fitting in and now you're at a point in your life where you need to stand out you need to you need to be you're not trying to fit in with the girls or the guys you're you're, you're you know you're looking for a management position and I don't mean just a position on your job I mean a position in your life you know what I'm saying so anyway the message brought for today's energy check-in inspirational oracle reading is you know, in the process of trying to um, of growth and expansion as a person, you will lose friendships, relationships, rather it's with your even with your family, because you are growing and you are shedding your old self and you're emerging to a new self, and um, you're going to have to be okay with that and know that um, don't you know don't hold yourself back because you can no longer participate in narratives about you know baby daddies or baby mamas or not having or you understand what I'm saying you and it's and it's going it's gonna hurt but in order for you to truly grow you know you're really gonna have to let go and you're gonna have to do it now so now I'd like for you to think of your question that you have for the mystic beings darling and um, we're going to have card one, card two, and card three. Pick a number from your heart. And I'm going to select a card. So if you have selected number one, you have your question in mind, darling. Right. And I am going to go ahead here and pick a card to answer your question. And let's see what is the card, the answer you have for people who have selected number one. It is, what does this say, John? Ask more questions. Okay, it says ask more questions. Okay, so you have another question. So if I were you, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you another. So your card, for people who select the number one, it says to ask more questions. Ask an additional question, maybe a question around it. And I'm going to see what the answer is. All right. So think of another question to me. And now we're going to go ahead. We're still on number one. They said to ask more questions. What is the answer to the additional question? Yes. The answer to the additional question is yes. Okie doke. That's for people who select the number one. Now, if you select the number two, please go ahead and formulate that question in your mind. And I am going to select the card for you, darling. That can give you maybe some insight. A yes or no. Well, they don't just say yes or no. They say a lot of things. We're going to go ahead and see what the answer is from the mystic beings so we have a person for, for number two who have a question for you darling what is your answer for the person who selected number two 
it is no. Okay, so the answer for number two is no. Thank you. Now, if you selected number three, Dolly, we're going to select, uh, select a mystic bean. To answer your question for you, please think of your question, and I am going to select a card. Are you ready? For number two, the mystic beans, I mean, I'm sorry, for number three, Dolly, if you select the number three, here is your answer from the mystic beans. It is maybe. Maybe, baby. So your your answer from the mystic beans, if you select the number three, is maybe. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling, in the next video.